Um, all right, so um, greetings from the International Council for Small Business. My name is Ayman Tarabishi. I am the president and CEO of ICSB. And I would like uh, first to announce today's webinar. It's introducing ICSB's newest knowledge hub, uh, De Mampur University in Kazakhstan. And um, we are just delighted to have him join the ICSB family as our knowledge hub here. They have been very active since they have joined here. So we're, we're just delighted to have him here to share all the activities that they're doing and, um, and, and, and the events that are being planned with them here. And before we, we start into the presentations and everything here, I wanna just um, introduce um, my colleagues here that will, will start the show here and, and, and tell us a little bit about um, the Kazakhstan's uh, newest knowledge hub, Montfort Mont University and also some of the, what are, we, what are we planning here for today's webinar here. So um, I'd like first to welcome uh, warmly uh, Sakina Zafar, Managing Director at Ed Pritis and Mold Member at DMUK. Um, good evening, Sakina, I hope you're doing well and your family is well. And um, why don't you go ahead and, 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 and tell us a little bit about the newest Knowledge Hub. Um, thank you so much, Ayman, and thank you for such a lovely um, warm wel uh, welcome. Um, we're very excited um, and very delighted as well to be um, a member of the ICSB. Um, I think this is the start of a beautiful future of a relationship um, going forwards. And we're very excited in terms of the opportunities and the partnerships that, and um, um, uh, sorry, opportunities for collaboration that this presents. Um, which is very, very great. So thank you for, uh, for that. Um, what can I say about De Montfort University, Kazakhstan? Um, um, I'm, I and the team are so delighted to have the first British university in Kazakhstan. And what I wanted to say is that, you know, we've, we've been met with such um, warm, warm, um, warm support. Um, we've had great support from parents, from the government, from students as well, and from from um, local Kazakhstan, uh, Kazakhstani people as well. So for us, you know, um, we we opened in September September 2021. Um, we and so we've only been operating for seven months, but we as an organisation and as a team um, have achieved a lot. And I'm really really proud of everything that the team has achieved and our students have as well. So for us, um, you know, we would like to say thank you very much and um, watch this space because um, great things are going to happen at De Montfort University, Kazakhstan. So thank you. Well, thank you very much. Um, we're delighted to have you here. And, and it's, it's good to have you that we're moving in the right direction here. So um, next is um, we want to introduce um, uh, Dr. Mark Yonka. Um, and he, is, uh, he, he will tell us a little bit about the E2 hub. And, uh, and he's a the director there. So Mark, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you guys? Good evening, Kazakhstan, and good morning to all America. I would like to uh, share you with you some story uh, about the uh, entrepreneurial uh, hub, which we um, just uh, launched not many months ago. Just allow me to share some screen with you. Yes. Um, so um, uh, today I would like to share uh, some facts about Kazakhstan and the journeys, experiences and story of the businesses and uh, entrepreneurs from Kazakhstan and the startups from the Montfort University in Kazakhstan. Um, we are privileged to start our partnership with the International Council of Small Business uh, as a knowledge hub. And I want to take this opportunity to say a big thank you uh, to the president of the ICSB, Dr. Ayman El Tarabishi, for welcoming us and to the ICSB beautiful family and today's webinar. As I mentioned before, uh, I'm pleased to introduce uh, Eurasian Entrepreneurial Hub uh, to ICSB and the rest of the world. We are a very young organization. Uh, as you see, we were established in December 2021. And uh, I have to tell you that we are growing very fast and we're getting very strong. 
uh, we are organization that um, uh, with the aspiration to provide cooperative, uh, functional and borderless ecosystem that present and sustain opportunities for startups, uh, corporation, tech companies, investors and MSMEs from Kazakhstan and Eurasia to effectively and then efficiently, efficiently solve the problems and grow at the accelerated rate and generate ideas, products and services uh, to the future and to boost the international businesses opportunity, exceed territorial limits and share knowledge and experience. And we are delighted to be part of the global MSMEs network. Well, we are looking forward to be part of that international and multicultural network. And uh, we, we um, understand that this network will help us to collaborate and develop SMEs uh, by exchanging experiences and uh, practice between all uh, our members. The eight is a very compelling number, not only from the financial point of view, and we decided to use all eight uh, components of the entrepreneurial ecosystem to create a healthy ecosystem that unites and promotes talent from Kazakhstan and Eurasia. We provide MSMEs and startup with access to market and exhibitions. We are introducing knowledge and skill hubs to develop all talents. We are organizing events that will bring together investors, businesses, universities, MSMEs, startup, and the government of Kazakhstan. We are um, connecting venture capitalists and uh, other sources of the uh, finance with the startup. We provide access to programs and certificates that enhance entrepreneurial knowledge and mindset. We're also creating support mechanism and uh, coordinating support services. We are promoting Kazakh government policies and uh, priorities and stakeholders' engagements. We promote learning from national and international uh, practices by creating partnership with universities worldwide. Uh, from the chemical point of view, a catalyst is the substance that can be added to a reaction in order to increase the reaction rate without getting consumed during that process. In my opinion, understanding the role of the uh, universities as a catalyst and the uh, importance of engagement uh, and cooperation between universities is essential to create one solid and perfectly working startup ecosystem. DMK also with cooperation with uh, Eastward Hub uh, engage in community outreach program. We promote an uh, um, opportunity for underprivileged children uh, from Kazakhstan to learn how to create and run the startups and businesses. Kazakhstan is ranked 25th among the 190 economies uh, in the ease of doing business. According to the world um, uh, bank annual trading report doing the business rating. Uh, we are 25th and we are getting stronger. The data was published in 2020, and according to the uh, BD, uh, DB rating, Kazakhstan is only 19 spots behind USA. So watch out, America, we are coming strong. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. And um, this is really exceptional. The, the speed of how things are moving is just, it's incredible here. Um, so um, we're gonna maybe ask questions at the end here because I wanna make sure that everybody has a chance to speak here. And um, let's go um, next. Uh, it's a speaker from AIFC and they're gonna talk about IP protection 
and a new policy for startups of and SMEs. Sure, thank you. I, I, I hope everyone hears me well. Yes, hi, hello. Great. So just a second. Yeah. So I have a couple of slides to share uh, in terms of uh, our work uh, done, our project, which is currently being done in the AFC in terms of uh, protection of IP rights. So uh, uh, just brief introduction about the AAC. Uh, in Kazakhstan, as some of you may know, uh, we have created uh, since 2016 uh, a jurisdiction which is based on English common law. Uh, so basically, this model is similar to uh, financial centers which were created in Dubai and Abu Dhabi. So, and as China has currently, which is one country, two systems. So in terms of AFC, so it's a separate jurisdiction which is based on English common law, which has special immigration regimes and tax benefits for certain types of activities, including mainly for financial services and fintech services. So in terms of bodies, the AFC, we have English Court and Arbitration Center, which provides legal certainty and uh, uh, investors protection. We have independent financial regulator, which is fully independent from national bank and national financial regulator. And also to provide services, we have expert services, expert center, which provides uh, immigration services uh, to the uh, foreign employees. So this is about EUC briefly. And the next slide is about uh, IP project, which we currently are doing. So in Kazakhstan, uh, to protect IP rights, uh, we have Ministry of Justice and we have several national laws uh, on trademarks, copyrights, and patents, uh, which uh, provides uh, this kind of protection under the national law and in Russian and Kazakh languages. And to, to provide more uh, services and confidence uh, in our country, we decided to extend this and to create a new system of IP rights under the AFC based on English common law. So basically, uh, we aim to provide protection on three types of uh, IP rights, which are mainly trademarks, copyrights, and patents. In terms of patents, as you can see from this slide, uh, currently we're aiming on IT and FinTech fields, uh, which currently becoming more popular uh, and, and has high, high demand, let's say, in, in this. And the distinction between these two systems between Kazakhstan and AFC is that uh, in terms of AFC, once they registered under AFC, uh, in case if there is any uh, court appealing, they, they have to appeal to AFC court under the English common law. So the, the language of, of this uh, application and also the language of this law and court consideration will be primarily in English. So while in Kazakhstan, once you register with the CAS patent, which is a national uh, organization on IP, uh, it means you have to submit in Russian or uh, Kazakh languages. And once is, is there any cases, uh, court cases, you have to apply to Kazakhstani court. And so these are distinctions, but uh, under the international treaties, which we currently have, we still uh, use the same uh, unified national registry system, uh, which provides uh, the coverage within the whole territory of Kazakhstan in terms of protection. And uh, another thing to, to, to consider that we currently actually are considering uh, protection of uh, rights within uh, meta, like uh, the, the world, uh, virtual world, which provides uh, virtual lands and assets and, and also uh, some copyrights. Yes, we know that with, with development of tokenization, currently there is a high demand and, and a, a big market for NFTs. And we have uh, Meta, which uh, creates its own 
uh, virtual reality and, and where customers and investors can, can purchase and buy and build uh, premises. So in terms of that, we also, uh, those kind of rights will be reflected in our uh, system and laws. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. This is really fascinating that you have broken down into these two things and it's relatively new here. Um, maybe a quick question just on this. How is the activity so far using these systems? How? How, 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 fa how much of the activity is happening using the two systems? Oh, so uh, as, it, as it was mentioned, so currently we have national and starting mm -hmm. this year, mainly from February, we start uh, building our system ecosystem so hopefully uh, by september we will be ready to register trademarks starting with trademarks and, and uh, copyrights okay it seems that everything in kazakhstan is moving super fast maria am i getting that feeling that you guys are using warp speed here Mark? is that what i'm getting here absolutely i think there is a reason why Marek earlier emphasized watch out the world <laughs> exactly i'm getting the suspicious feeling things things you don't we walk. Run. You. <laughs> You're not walking. You're running here. <laughs> so, so let's let's go. Let's go to the next speaker here. They're going to talk a little bit about financial institutions here, and specifically something of personal interest is SMEs and finance. Um. So, um, who's who's going to be leading this conversation? Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it will be me. Oh well, then Jana. you're you're in the right place. Jana, right. Jana, uh... Jana, you're in the right place. Then. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, actually, yes, uh, good evening to everyone. My name is Shanar. Uh, I'm deputy CEO in Alton Bank. Uh, I'm really sorry, but I'm actually not so very well prepared with the slides, but I just try to uh, kind of to deliver all the information <laughs> verbally. So, um, some words about Alton Bank itself. We are 60% um, owned by one of the biggest. Your banking um, holding in China, which is CITIC. And 40% uh, we are owned by uh, Halig Bank, which is one of the biggest banks here banking groups here in Kazakhstan. Um, we are fully commercial bank. Um, we are not doing SME kind of separately or SME financing separately. This is mainly as a corporate business as um, uh, together with SME business funding business itself. So we also have our uh, trademark Altenai, which is um, internet banking for um, individuals. And in general, uh, yeah, my part was about SME lending. Actually, it is uh, what I think it is very well developed in Kazakhstan. We do have a really good understanding in a banks and in the market that uh, what does it mean SME? Uh, how to use uh, all different programs of uh, of the government we have to finance SMEs. And also separately, of course, each and every bank has its own program for SME lending. Uh, in general, um, I think, of course, due to some, um, due to some events uh, and due to the lacks of budget, uh, SME lending from the governmental budgets are under consideration now, but still those programs showed very well during past five to seven years. And um, hopefully after all checks that will be done, of course, we will have more or our clients, SME companies will have more possibilities to use uh, the, the budget funds also. Uh, but um, again, programs of commercial banks are always um, available. That's why no problem for us to develop, to help and to 
uh, to rise up the SME lending in, in Kazakhstan and the SME companies, of course, also. That's it. Well, it's, it's to the point, but it shows that um, you have the infrastructure, you have the foundation there and, and the focus, which, which is amazing here. It's just, I guess it's also an issue of matter of time as this propagates here, which is exactly what, what I feel is what's happening in Kazakhstan is your things are moving very fast and now it's just time. Time is on your side, as you say here. Thank you, thank you very much. This is really wonderfully done. You're welcome. Um, we we um, we're celebrating this month and and when International Women's Day, and we we've been at ICSB been extensively promoting different types of um, events and activities on March eighth, and now even for the whole month we do. And I, I'm delighted to see here that the, the next topic at hand here, and I think this was curated by Maria, right, is women preneurs from Kazakhstan. Here, so so I'm I'm looking forward to this. Um, Thank you very much. Uh, uh, hello, everyone. My name is Maria Yeseleva Pionka. I'm Dean of Business and Law School at uh, De Montfort University, Kazakhstan. And I'm delighted to speak at this webinar tonight. Um, as we announced earlier, we're very proud to host the Eurasian Entrepreneurial Hub at our university. And we are so excited about our in-house projects, entrepreneurship projects that our students are working on. And we're happy to promote entrepreneurs um, external to the university who are joining our Eurasian Entrepreneurial Hub. And tonight we have invited our um, students to actually speak uh, about their projects. And uh, as far as I can see, I think we have uh, Vladislav, who is um, part of our International Year Zero at De Montfort University. And he's here tonight to present his uh, startup project. Vladislav, would you like to present uh, your slides? Thank you. Um, he's here. Let me just make sure one thing. Okay, one second. Is he, he is a panelist. And oh, uh, good evening. Uh, do Hello. you hear me? Oh yes, we hear you. Uh, okay. One Good, let me make sure. Let me make sure that you can have access to upload your slides. That is up. Yes. Yep. Sure. One moment. Uh. Here we go. Yep. That's a great picture. I have to tell you, we should all be there. Um, okay, so can I start you? Yes, please go ahead. I look forward to it. Uh, so, so, good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Vladislav, and I'm a student of the Montfort University, Kazakhstan. So today, I would like to talk about my entrepreneurial story, uh, if I can call it like that, how I started, uh, why am I passionate about it, uh, what are my current steps and projects, and why I like entrepreneurship. So to start with, um, I've always wanted to be rich, uh, to drive a Bentley, to uh, not to look at the prices when you're shopping. And I think this is the most honest and obvious reason uh, why I want to become an entrepreneur and why so many people want to set up their own business. My first um steps my first significant steps in entrepreneurship started in 2020 i think so and back then me and my best friend saw these things on the internet uh i think this is like a sneaker slippers it was something new and we came up with an idea why don't we sell them here in kazakhstan in almari through the instagram and therefore the process started um, we found uh, several suppliers on Alibaba. We filtered them and we have chosen the one that we'll order from. Moreover, we had some problems with logistics because it was too expensive through Alibaba group, but we found a solution. We did it 
through the logistics company in, in Almaty and the problem was solved. Uh, we, moreover, we, ah, so here are some photos, um, some live photos, how those uh, sneaker slippers looks, look like. Uh, this is our brand packages. It's, we named it Cozy. And moreover, we had our, this is our Instagram. Uh, we set up an Instagram, downloaded some photos, and we launched, we officially launched. But the problem here was that we knew nothing about, you know, Facebook ads, how to promote our product. And we hired the freelancer, but, the, the, but there was no result. And they thought, why don't we promote our product by ourselves? And talking about the sleepers, we have sold everything, but it was not profitable, as profitable as they thought it would be. Obviously, we made a lot of mistakes, but I think this is a great experience. And this is a turning moment in my life. After this small business, my new chapter in my life started and I became a freelancer too. I'm providing digital marketing services for businesses in Almaty. And I've been doing this for already, I think two years, but currently me and my best friend, we are setting up a marketing agency. Um, let me, this is our website. Um, one moment, it is called Acquisition Media. It is just a draft. We are still working on it, but we think that by the end, well, in two weeks, we will officially launch. <laughs> My friend is studying, he studies in Canada. So our um, target audience will be businesses from Canada and business, businesses from Europe. Uh, the reason why we want to set up a marketing, marketing agency on the West is that we want to scale because obviously this is a new market for us. Secondly, we want to set up a team uh, delegate the work so we will just control the process and finally it is just more complex it is more risky but it is interesting and we love it um, so moreover um, right now I'm participating in a startup it's called Denfi and I'm the head of marketing department there the startup is a mobile app I was invited there by my friends. Uh, uh, unfortunately, I cannot uh, provide the details uh, publicly, but this is a mobile app where this is mobile app for renting uh, real estate, sold in real estate. And cur currently I'm working on a marketing strategy for this company. To conclude, I'd like to say that, of course, uh, well, entrepreneurship sometimes can be stressing. It is time consuming. Uh, you know, sometimes I fall asleep with a problem in my mind. I dream about this problem and then I wake up and I still think about this problem. Uh, but oh, in the beginning, I told you that I was only interested in money, but through the time, I liked the risk I love solving different problems and entrepreneurship is just making my life more interesting. So as someone said, uh, the biggest risk in life is not taking a risk. Thank you for your attention. And if you have any questions, you can ask them. It seems that you're, you're starting your journey here, but with, with a lot of energy here, Maria, do, do you agree here? Absolutely. And this is just the beginning. We have two uh, additional fascinating stories from our womanpreneurs. And uh, Marek will introduce them. So Marek, please introduce our womanpreneurs. Thank you. They're here now. Yes, we have uh, Kurulai Sabikaeva. She is um, our womanpreneur from uh, Kazakhstan. She will tell us the story, her story of how she uh, find her journey through the um, yeah through the years of uh, doing the business by herself. Kura Sagipaiva, sorry. 
Yeah, and she's uh, moving to Paris. She's in her 10 days, okay? Will, yeah, um, yeah, yes. yeah, she's, yeah. Kurai? Kurala is there. Sorry, do you, uh, do you hear me? But uh, yes. Kula, another another Kurala. I'm I'm oh. Kurala in the office, the demand for. But our entrepreneur, woman entrepreneur, name it Kurala too. Oh, okay. We have two of them. That's good. So there is uh, Kurala Nurkadilova. Kurala Nurkadilova. Yeah. Um, yeah. She's there. She's a co-host. Yes. She's on mute though. Okay. Could I please unmute? Kirillai, we can hear you. Um, please unmute your microphone. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. so, uh, excuse me, good evening. Mm -hmm. Good evening. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you for inviting uh, to your meeting. Excuse my English, I have been speaking for 30 years in a brave, cool, virtuoso way, but today my speech will be in English, so it might not be as cool, but it will be uh, sincere. Uh, you can congratulate me on that. Uh, my name uh, is Kuralai, a famous designer, social activist and psychologist. Uh, with uh, 23 years of experience in psychology and psychotherapy. Uh, I have uh, three children. I am a developer uh, of military uniforms of the Kazakhstan army, also developer uh, ceremonial Olympic uniform in Beijing and uh, London and uh, uh, uniforms uh, for Air Astana, um, uh, every company, uh, and uh, many uh, uh, big projects in Kazakhstan. Uh, I will not list the, uh, all my titles and awards in my CV because it take more uh, than three printed page even uh, if it's shot. Uh, uh, during uh, uh, 15 years of uh, uh, age wing, uh, mind blown uh, success in the field of design. I have also gone through many challenges. I started from nothing uh with a small child and uh stru struggling uh, to feel him then i began my journey at uh, 26 time i was in uh first crisis which caused uh, me lose uh, three million dollars and before the global crisis uh, happened when everyone in the kazakhstan was rising i faced uh, another three mayors crisis, so I know how to recover it and how to deal to them. At the age of 37, I called half and been in a, a wheelchair, but I stood up in a agony, uh, had one uh, clinical death. Uh, those, um, uh, I gave uh, birth to a uh, uh, premature baby and falls for the whole life. 
I went uh, through 12 anesthesia, amnesia, and faced many more as problems. All this is a money valuable background which qualifies uh, me to give advice and be a serious business psychologist. Now I also deal with clients who uh, are dollars millionaires. Uh, now as a business and a leadership teacher in Sri Kazakh University, let me tell you the classic of building any kind of business. Uh, one moment. Um, Так, thank you. Uh, one moment. Uh, what is the structure of its creation? What is a business uh, and uh, how to achieve success? How do you stay on target? Uh, building a business cannot be seen as launching uh, a rocket. Uh, what is why many people have the wrong strategy in uh, their heads, uh, how does one launch uh, rocket? First, there's a careful calculation. When the rocket is uh, launched uh, and the rocket uh, flies uh, itself uh, along the set uh, trajectory, but that's not how business works. Uh, business works uh, by the system of driving a car. Um, you set yourself a goal to go from point A to point B, and most importantly, importantly uh, excuse me, you have to imagine how you will get to be and what will happen to you. It's uh, called it a vision. That Steve Jobs had a vision that every user, even a child, could easily understand a computer and his concept shop should be flew to sailing glass and uh, as accessible to any customer. A simple white interior, interior uh, every gadget could be approached and touched by the customer. Um, next, you take the business road out and the path uh, will look like this. You create a business at each section. You uh, assess you pass, uh, learn from your mistake and again create uh, the best in the same business. Um, Uh, and there you have it uh, point A and point B. Do you think you will look so smooth? No, along the way you will uh, encounter uh, various things. Stop no way, road under repair, diversions. But if you understand this, you want to reach point B, you will not stop. Um, in the past world, they will look like this. Uh, to uh, switch to a convoluted uh, other path, uh, you have to de derive a hypothesis that uh, look like this. Uh, if I do think differ differently, uh, what will happen? Um, if there are fewer uh, buyers, uh, why did this happen? Why have they stopped uh, buying uh, this uh, particular product and so on? Um, you used to sell a simple glass. Um, this is Gipotis and this uh, 
you used to sell a simple glass, the market changed, uh, people started to live better, then you start trying uh, colored glass. Uh, then the world change again, and you switch to color glasses, but no glasses in, all, in anymore. Um, over time, in innovative uh, product might uh, emerge of every twist and turn, and uh, assortment and variety improved service of something else all new action are a factor of innovation. Так, one moment. Uh, don't be afraid to make mistake, try new thing. Don't stay the same. If uh, uh, 50 years ago business and marketing change every 10 years, now it's every 10 or uh, three years, the spiral of change is turning faster and faster. Thank you all uh, for your attention and for your patience in listening to my English. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh... Corelli, and I'm so sorry for uh, missing the, the family name. I just picked the one uh, on the top, which was just next to you. Thank you for your, for your story time. And now I would like to introduce our uh, next speaker, student of uh, international uh, year zero at the Montfort University in Kazakhstan, Arujan. Shudbaeva, she will share with us her story. Hi, Arujan. Uh, hi, good evening. Just a second. Let me just uh, share my camera. Okay. So I hope you can see me and you can hear me. Uh, so I'm really glad that I was invited to this webinar and I'm, I want to share with my journey. So uh, as you know, my name is Aru and I'm a student at De Montfort University, Kazakhstan, majoring in business and marketing. And I can tell you that I'm very passionate about entrepreneurship. Uh, be, as being a kid, I can remember myself doing a lot of business. I used to sell cookies, t-shirts, and just everything that I could. And currently I am working on my startup. I am teaching English to kids and teenagers. Therefore, I am willing to open an English center uh, where I can uh, teach kids and teenagers, not only English, but also leadership. I think that's an amazing opportunity because here in Kazakhstan, we have a lot of ambitious and talented young adults. And I'm very, I'm very passionate about giving them the opportunities to grow, just like our university. Uh, I'm really glad to study here in the Montfort University, Kazakhstan, because I have an amazing opportunities to grow, to get more knowledge. I get both theoretical and practical knowledge in my classes. And uh, I, I wanted to share also with the one of the projects that we're doing in my business class. My group mates and I are working on a program uh, or a platform that introduces sexual education to high schoolers. I think you may have noticed that I am really into the education. I believe that education empowers us that education creates an amazing opportunities for us to build ourselves, to build our career, and just to become a better people in, in our community. Uh, I often hear that I am doing a great job, that I'm on my way. However, I wanted to share that my way isn't linear. My journey always has its own ups and downs, but I have a really strong faith in myself. I dream big, therefore I know that I have 
big dreams and all of my dreams are my goals. They fo- therefore, all of them are achievable. And um, I'm very blessed because I have an amazing community. I have supportive people around me. Uh, even my professors, Mark and Maria, thank you so much for sharing this knowledge. I am, honestly, I'm such a person who always looks at positive sides. Therefore, um, in my business, in my startup, I want to create such community that will help students and young adults to meet their best potentials, to open up, not being afraid of speaking up. Since here in Kazakhstan, I really don't like the educational system. Uh, Many students are really afraid of showing their potential. And as for me, I think my mission and my vision is to uh, develop the educational sector in Kazakhstan. And I just wanted to thank uh, Mark and Maria for inviting me here. I want to thank Sakina for giving an amazing opportunity here in Kazakhstan to study in British University to get amazing quality education, both practical and theoretical. And I'm really glad that my studies are uh, very practical and they are career oriented. That allows me to uh, work through my knowledge in my field. And basically that's my story. Uh, moreover, I also am very interested in running blog. I have my own blog and Instagram where I share with my journey. And I really hope that someday I will just look at myself now and understand how far I went and um, that I achieved all of my goals. So thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much, Rosanna. It's such a fascinating, young, and busy woman are you. Thank you for sharing your story. Uh, I would like to, Dr. Maria Serbapionka, to say a few uh, closing words. Now we heard. I would like to say a very big thank you uh, to the president of ICSB, Dr. Ayman El Tarabishi, for welcoming us uh, tonight and for uh, chairing uh, today's webinar. A very big thank you to all participants for joining and sharing this exciting information with all of us. And I just wanted to say that we're super excited about our upcoming trip to Washington DC and the ICSB World Congress. We are gonna bring our delegation to Washington DC with our students and we're all super excited about this opportunity. Um, Thank you very much, Maria. This has been a really wonderful, wonderful um, webinar today about your K-Hub here. so uh, Zanara, Vladvik, uh, Sakara, Maria, and Marek, and Krala as well. This is just amazing here. And um, I'm mispronouncing your names, but I apologize, but I'm trying. And, but uh, your stories are really, really inspirational. And the energy is, is really, really uh, evident in all the work you're doing here and, and the speed of things that are coming here. So this is just uh, exciting, you know, the opportunity and the timing of everything is exciting here. And we warmly welcome you to, um, to Washington, D.C. Um, it will be a great time in Washington, D.C. We're working on a lot of the programming right here. And hopefully, if all goes well, your students will get to go see a baseball game. The Washington Nationals will be playing. So we'll, we'll, take, uh, we'll, we'll take your students to watch an American baseball game. It's not soccer or football here, but they'll get to experience it. And can I ask a lot of questions why people are running around in, in, in squares and chasing a small little ball. And that's part of the learning experience here. But um, but Washington in July is hot, it's muggy, but there's a lot to do here. So so get ready for a nice uh, event in Washington here. And again, thank you, uh, Merrick, for a wonderful um, webinar here. The session has been on fi- Facebook here and we're gonna share with all our ICSB community. Thank you very much, Merrick. Uh, anything to say before we end? Uh, thank you very much, Dr. Ayman Tarabishi, for, for hosting us and, and having us in. Uh, we will really enjoy the whole experience. Thank you to all the speakers who participate in our uh, webinar. We're looking forward for the baseball, and we hope we catch the ball. Yes. Yeah, if you do, you're lucky, and then, then ICSB will confiscate it. 
because nobody ever got a call for it. So. <laughs> can we confiscate it? Can we or you have to return? No, 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 you can keep it, but I'll take it from you. So just to let you know. Oh, you will not problem. <laughs> I will be on my mission. The ball, okay. I'm catching the ball, sign it, and I will present it to you yeah. as a trophy of Kazakhstan. Yes, yes. We're sending people from Kazakhstan to catch baseball. That's great. <laughs> have a wonderful day, everybody. You bye too, bye. I say have an awesome day. Yeah. Bye. See you in Washington. Bye.